guys, it's Nick with the Hungry Handgunner. So today we're going to be taking a look at a 12 gauge pump action shotgun for home defense. What we have out here today is uh, nothing real fancy. This is a Maverick 88 made by Mossberg, uh, 20 inch barrel, 7 round magazine tube, pump action obviously. The only thing aftermarket that's been done is there's this uh, cheap little elastic side saddle arrangement uh, to hold some extra shells. So. This is a very common type of shotgun that you may see somebody recommending for home defense. So what we're going to attempt to do today is just kind of demonstrate what the gun's capable of and some of the misconceptions surrounding the use of a shotgun for home defense. So we have a target set up. We're going to shoot it at a couple different distances. I'm going to walk off 10 yards. We'll do 10 yards, 30 feet, which is going to be that or shorter for a lot of home defense distances and the first thing we're going to start off with a lot of people have this misconception that you don't need to aim one of these that the uh, spread of the projectiles will will just pretty much you just kind of point it in the general direction and you're going to handle business so I've got some uh, cellular and below nine pellet double lot buckshot two and three quarters and I chose these for today because they have the clear uh, shotgun shell so you can see inside there and see the various projectiles so we have those which is arguably the most common recommended load for home defense and I also have some uh, just number eight shot target load and I was able to find some with these clear cases so you can see all the tiny little pellets in there that's number eight shot normally referred to as bird shot used for shooting clays or dove hunting things like that um, very tiny pellets but there's a lot of them so I do have a camera set up downrange at that target so you'll be able to see uh, exactly what's happening to that target from these various distances so to demonstrate the uh, don't have to aim approach we're actually going to shoot from the hip now there's a safe backstop there's a hill and everything like that uh, back there are no other houses on the other side of that hill so this is safe but I'm going to show you guys now I I have a little bit of experience behind a pump action shotgun um, and we'll just we'll let the results speak for themselves so and we will do that with double lot buckshot because again that is the most common uh, type of shotgun loading usually used for home defense so without further ado let's get to it all right so we're at a distance of 10 yards you can see my IDPA silhouette target there um, I have three rounds loaded in here, double out buckshot, cellular and below stuff that I showed you a second ago. So three rounds, a lot of your shotguns are limited to three rounds for hunting purposes, so that's why we're doing three rounds. Uh, not necessarily going to do it very fast, but we're going to fire from the hip at that silhouette and see what we get. All right. All right. So I can tell you right now I had one halfway decent shot, uh, which was luck because my other two pretty much went went wild. But uh, all right, now let's check something else out. Now we're gonna try bird shot. I'm gonna put two of these in here. There seems to be a misconception that bird shot will allow you to get that to spread out a lot more. Uh, let's see. All right, let's take a look. Same distance, but I'm going to have got three rounds of the double out buck loaded up. I'm going to show you the difference between firing from the hip and actually aiming down the barrel and using that front bead sight to get the shotgun on target. So here we go. All right, and to show the difference with the bird shot, go ahead. Do one round of bird shot, and I'm going to aim uh, low center mass. I'm actually aiming, not from the hip this time. So 
So, let's take a look at that. So, gun is clear, it's locked to the rear, nothing in the magazine tube. What did we figure out? Well, hip fire looks pretty darn cool in movies, but you've got a marginal chance of success, and this isn't any exceptional distance. I mean, this is you know, from one end of the living room to another that we were shooting at, and they're still a lot better served by bringing that shotgun up and at least aiming down the barrel. The other thing we learned about <clears throat> is this isn't just a room clearing spread of projectiles you can absolutely very easily miss with a shotgun and those rounds especially with buckshot slugs absolutely have plenty of energy to continue on through an interior residential wall and uh, hurt loved ones or even go through an exterior wall specifically if you're using something like a slug the last thing you want to do is be hurting people you're trying to protect so get your shots on target Make sure that you're engaging who you're supposed to engage. Shotgun is absolutely a very powerful and, in many cases, a very appropriate tool for home defense. But there are a lot of misconceptions out there about using one of these for home defense. The other thing I wanted to touch on is you can see the birdshot damage looked pretty bad. There were a bunch of tiny little holes spread all over the target. But if you have gone to other channels and watched videos with birdshot on ballistics gel, they just don't penetrate enough. I really can't recommend birdshot as a defensive load for the simple standpoint of even if you use birdshot thinking that you're not going to kill somebody it's still viewed by the law in most areas as lethal force so you're going to have to defend that decision about why you feared for your life enough to get a shotgun out but you you maimed somebody so and not to mention what if it doesn't stop the threat you've got a pissed off guy now with birdshot holes that may still be trying to do harm to you or your family. So I would have to recommend going with buckshot. Um, the number four shot's also popular, but the double op buck, it's very common. As you can see, it's got just enough spread out of this gun at this distance to be suitable for my home, uh, although this is not what I use for home defense. The other thing I wanted to touch on is when you have a shotgun, you need to pattern it. And by patterning it, I mean set a paper target out like we did today. Get your shotgun out with whatever load you're thinking about using for home defense. At whatever distance, the maximum distance you, you think you might need it inside your home. And then incrementally, however works for your house. And then figure out where those rounds are going to impact on that target. Make sure that they're not going too wild. Make sure they're, they're performing the way you want them to perform. Um, each shotgun is going to be a little bit different. You could grab another 20 inch pump shotgun from another manufacturer and it could have wildly different results with the same ammunition at the same distance. You might even grab another Maverick 88 with a 20 inch barrel, identical gun to this, and it might pattern different. Your double up buckshot from different manufacturers might pattern different and will do different things at different ranges. So take the time, put in a little, little effort, uh, figure out what is going to be the best combination for your home defense shotgun. If you're not going to use one of these for home defense and you think about using it for hunting, a lot of hunters will tell you the same thing. Pattern your shotgun, pattern your ammo, figure out where it's hitting, at what distance, and go from there. So, I hope this has been an informative video for you guys. Like I said, I'm, we're not discussing the merits for or against a shotgun for home defense. For some people it's appropriate, and I get that. But if you are going to use one, you need to be aware that of its limitations and its capabilities. And please take time to pattern your shotgun, pattern your defensive ammo before you try to use it in a home defense situation. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I uh, really appreciate all the support. There's going to be a little bubble coming up on the bottom right-hand side of your screen. That's the subscribe button. If you hit that, it really means a lot to me. I'm trying to grow the channel. And... Just honestly, all your likes, comments, shares, that really means a lot. Thank you for helping me grow the channel. There's going to be a link in the description to our Patreon. If you want to directly financially support the channel, help us do a little bit more, maybe get some ballistics gel or armor plates out for testing, we would really appreciate that. Um, any membership tier is very appreciated. 
But most of all, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Stay safe. Keep shooting. Thanks.